The problem. If you put $5,000 in the bank at 2% interest per year, compounding yearly, how much money would you have at the end of three years? To use the Finance app in the TID4 Plus CE, press the Apps button here. We want number one, Finance. It is already highlighted. Let's press the Enter button. The screen pops up. We want number one, TVM Solver. TVM stands for Time Value of Money. Number one is already highlighted. Let's press the Enter button. This screen pops up. These are the variables for time value of money problems. N is for the total number of times that the money is compounded. For this problem, the money is compounded one time a year for three years. One times three equals three, so enter a three for N. Go down to the next variable, I. You can use the down arrow button or the enter button to go down to the next variable. I is for interest rate. The interest rate is 2% per year, so enter a 2. Do not enter a 0 0.02. The TI-84 plus CE will convert the 2 into percent automatically when it does the calculations. Go down to the next variable, PV. PV stands for present value. When doing time value of money problems, when you take money out of your pocket to invest, use a negative sign. We are taking 5000 out of our pocket and put it in the bank. So enter a negative 5000 here. Make sure to use the negative sign here and not the minus sign. If you use the minus sign, you will get an error message when we press the solve button. Go down to the next variable, PMT. PMT is payments that you are adding into the bank each period. We are not adding any money into the bank during the three years. We're just putting a one-time $5,000 at the beginning and let it sit for three years. So leave PMT as zero. FV is future value. That is what we are solving for. How much money we'll have at the end of three years compounding annually. P slash Y is automatically set to one. PY is payment per year. Our interest will be paid to us one time each year, so leave PY to 1. If our interest was going to be paid every quarter, then we would set this to 4, 4 quarters a year. The next variable, C slash Y, is the frequency of compounding each year. In this problem, we have a yearly compounding, thus leave CY to 1. If the interest is going to be compounded monthly, then we would set CY to 12. The next variable is PMT. PMT is when do we receive our interest payment, at the beginning of each period or at the end of each period. We are only going to get our interest at the end of each period, so leave this at N. This is already highlighted as the default. Now we are ready to calculate the answer. Move the cursor to FV, future value, because that is the variable that we are trying to solve. To solve, press the green alpha button here, then the enter button here. And there is the answer. At the end of three years, we will have a total of $5,306.04 in our bank account. If you are working similar homework problems, you can clear out each of these variables. I will go to the top by using the up arrow button. Then put a zero in each of the variables. You can't leave the variable blank because the TI-84 plus CE will not let you go down to the next variable if there is nothing in the current variable. Now you are ready for your next homework problem. To exit the Finance app, press the second button here and then the Quick button here, which is also the Mode button. OK, same problem but using the Future Value Compounding Interest formula. FV equals PV times 1 plus R divided by N to the NT power, where FV equals future value, PV equals present value, R equals the interest rate, N is the compounding periods per year, and T is the terms in years. Thus, PV equals 5,000, R equals 2%, which is 0.02, N is 1 for one compounding period per year, and T is 3 for three years. So enter 5,000 times open parentheses 
1 plus, open parentheses, 0 0.02 divided by 1, close parentheses, another close parentheses. Now we have to put the outside parentheses to the NT power. Press this caret symbol here. This caret symbol represents the power sign. Now we enter 1 times 3. To get out of the power sign, press the right arrow button here. Now for the answer, press the enter button. And there's our answer, $5,306.04. The same answer when we've used the financial app on the T-84 Plus CE. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.